Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cooking Companions and I don't know why this guy is on my screen. Uh, yeah, I think I broke something in the game. A cabin all the way out here, Ryana says. What about that psychopath? We lost him a few kilometers ago, don't worry. It doesn't look like anyone's home. Hello? Come on, Ryana. Sun is sitting. Let's take shelter here, just for the night. You sure that's a good idea, Selena? Of course. Front door has a few different ways to lock it. Should keep him at bay if he shows up. Hope there's some snacks in here. Bullock. I guess we don't have a good choice. We'll head back to Zakopane in the morning. Don't worry about it. It's just for one night. You decided to join up with your friends inside. Did you lock the door? All set. Could you see him out of the window? No, he probably went back to town. Is anyone here? No, he yelled and stomped around. Nothing. Am I, Ryan? Huh. Hmm. This cabin is abandoned. Let's stay here tonight. You seem oddly similar to Cabbage. Not to mention your name it begins with a C. What? Relax, it's going to be freezing out to side tonight. So it's either him or us. Let's avoid making a fire. Don't want him to see us in the distance. No, no. Fire? No. There's blankets in the bedroom. We'll be fine, though, Luke. This cabin chills me to the bones. We'll need him. Hmm. My rebellion gets nervous. He tells a joke. I'll pay attention. Got one of Raziel's classics for you. What do you call snowman's kids? Children. Ah! These are some insanely cute. <laughs> I love the art style. Let's go up and search the cabin and see if you can find any food around for us to eat tonight. I'll take the bedroom. Leave the living room to me. Ryan, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. You sure? Of course, I know exactly where to look first. Got the Zakopan Junior Baker Award, remember? Selena, alright. Alright, everyone. Let's move out! Yeah, you definitely seem like a Sean Pat. Help the team by searching the cabin for supplies. Your bond with Selena, Oleg, and Bullock is unbreakable. Focus on exploring the cabin. You only get one choice, so choose wisely. Who do you want to help out first? Well... I kind of want to do Oleg. Uh, do Oleg. Hi, Ryana. Is that a bone sticking out of the floorboard? Yeah, disgusting. Is it a chicken bone? You think I'm finding out? Would we'll probably lose my lunch. What area do you want to search first? The floors. You first check under the bed. Long strands of white hair are covered in dust under here. Disgusting. Floors. Check the hole next to the table. It seems to drop completely into darkness. A leg. Do you have a coin or something that we can drop in down into this hole? Just my allowance money. Sounds great. Give me one of the coins. Ryan. It's only one coin. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> no problem. I'm like, huh? Just watch your step over here, okay? You got it. You look underneath the nightstand. Something's pressed against the wall. Hmm, just a bobby pin. Take the bobby pin with you? Yes. You got the bobby pin. You find something down there, Ryan? I swear. This art style. I don't know why. It feels more anime than ever. Check it out. A bobby pin. Is that for hair or something? Oh, like, haha. Floors. You inspect the bones to get on the floor. This is definitely a chicken bone. Gross can you see anything else under there? Put your face to the floorboards. A large pile of chicken bones is underneath the floor. I can't see very far under here without a lamp, but there's hundreds of chicken bones down here. Or human bones. Might be some other bones too, I'm not sure. That's disgusting. Stick your arm beneath the floorboard, yes. Is there anything? Oh, I'm not losing a finger for a key. It's mice, oh like, not rats. Just look inside and never set up rummaging around. The 
furniture. You check the table first. The spilled ink has completely soaked into the wood. Find anything? Yeah, a table that needs to be that need to be cleaned ages ago. Haha. <laughs> Is it a sauce from the kitchen? Take a whiff. No, I like wishful thinking, huh? The birdcage seems out of place in this room. What's up with this birdcage? The outside has started to develop a thin layer of rust. The inside, though, looks more preserved in one area, like something was pushing against the cage bars. Must have been one fat bird, haha. Uh, free map. The Tatras Mountains. Bunch of kids' toys and garbage. What do you think? Oh. I think it's a lovely drawing for any child. Uh, is that a steak? Looks like a piece of coal was used to draw this. What the hell is this? It's messed up, right? You take the breakfast drawing with you. So I guess it's not steak. I don't know anyone who has steak for breakfast, but... Combine ethylene with sulfur dichloride, then apply it to some exposed skin as a test. Do not inhale. You take the chemistry instructions with you. Check this out, Oleg. Can you make any sense of it? Hmm, not at all. <laughs> we should bring this back to Zacopane, see if anyone knows what this is for. Absolutely. Any more furniture? Nothing left to check with the furniture. Maybe it's time to check on it. I think we're done searching here, Oleg. Hey, Ryan, I've been dying to ask. What's up with that coat? It's new. You don't like it? I didn't say that. It just looks a little heavy for some. Yeah, it also works as a real nice blanket. Eek! I can't afford to buy me multiple coats per year, Oleg. Besides, I actually take care of my clothes. Eek! This cabin is cold as hell, so I'm a little jealous. Especially in the living room. Right? You met Oleg on your fourth year of elementary school through Oleg. <laughs> Truly a visual novel now. Walking home one day, you notice him fishing down by the river. Hi, Ryana. It's illegal to fish here, Oleg. What? My uncle fishes here all the time. And he's lucky he hasn't been caught yet. Yeah. Catch anything today? B brown trout. I won't tell anyone, though, like... Yeah, thanks, Ryana. Oh. Further down the river, you see a strange man washing some tools. Most of it looks like things you'd find in a butcher shop, blades of various sizes. You make eye contact with him, causing him to pick up the tools in a panic and put them into a satchel. He fumbles with the knife he was cleaning, causing it to make a shallow cut in his hand. He awkwardly stumbles away from the river, leaving a trail of crimson behind him. What a strange sight. You head back into the living room to catch up with the others. So maybe we know a killer, or do we know me, who I was playing in the first chapter? Okay, team, find anything. Just some old toys in a really, in a drawer. Really old toys. Well, look, I, I found this toy boat under a couch. Let me see that. Grandma made this boat for him. Razeo was here. Razeo. The one and only. Could he still be alive here? Seeing it again would bring, bring Grandma back from the brink. We have to find him. Agreed. Crew, we need to search this cabin, top to bottom. Let's find Razeo and bring him back to Sakopane. You got it, Selena. Bullock, Oleg, come with me. Let's look around the outside. Ryana, look around the cabin to try to find any clues to where Razeo is. That psychopath could still be outside in the wood. If you hear any of us yell or scream, find us, okay? Of course, Selena. Thanks. I'll be listening for you as well. I'll be fine. Crew, let's move out. 
they can leave me to search the cabin. Of course they would have to leave me, because that's, uh, that's always something they do in movies. Who's there? The thing replies back. It sounded like he was coming from the kitchen. I didn't even know that's the said anything. You walk over to investigate. Hello? <laughs> Intense zoom. I see... S what? Uh, maybe I just dust on my screen, but I can swear I see something looking at me. Oh. Elijah's here the Should I translate this? <laughs> No? I'm gonna actually translate this, hold on. seen I don't know in Spanish uh, there was now there's the NAO alternative form of now like the word now like here and now uh, I don't know Volque esta probablemente saya loga dresi desi loga search of a translator. <laughs> Hold on. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to figure out this mystery together. So Voke is uh, Portuguese. I want. <laughs> Esta. Okay, Esta. You are so far. Real meant. You are really. Okay. M. Here you go. You are really in danger. This is interesting. Uh, if I don't want to make it so you guys have to wait too long. If someone can translate it down in the comments, please do. Saya loga de ese lugar elemental el nanka vote el amis pro se separe dum. I'm pronouncing everything wrong. Puerto o ishono mi o mi imi truxa para equi el tv divior todos vose. Fyojang Sahem. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Ha ha ha. Hey, hey. No. Hello. Hello. Miyoto. Yeah. Yes, it is. Para. Yeficar. Terra. Orlando. I'm trying my best here. Eque. Pia. Siso. A drawing is pushed out of the cabinet. Elephants. Algans. Descentos. Antes. Demora. E iso para os parentes dele queer sabravimara. Man, and all this because Germany lost World War One. <laughs> a door. Are those bars of a cage? Staring at a door. You take the cage drawing with you. Acho the queer. I'm gonna translate this, at least. Just...
guess so. I think that, and then an E. I think this is um, at the S. I guess this is goodbye, is what he says. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do that because I have to record a video. No, I, uh, you know, I just crows out of the translator. Goodness gracious. Someone please translate this. Please. Maybe if the game devs watch this, they can translate it. <laughs> Selena, Oleg, Oleg, no reply. Ryana, we saw something weird down the hill. Looked like an old fence with bones all over the ground. Could have been animal skulls, but we couldn't tell from that distance. Heard some whis weird whispering before we got back to the front door. Find anything? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Strange whispers coming out from the, under the kitchen sink. Oh, whispers? Was it a ghost, Ryan? I'm not sure. I'd say a ghost scene is how it literally looked like a tormented soul, but uh, I couldn't understand any of the words. Hmm. Ghost, huh? Well, it attempts to lighten the mood a little bit. Got another of Razeo's jokes for you. What do ghosts like pouring over their food? Bullock. Give up? Gravy. Ah! Yeah. It was probably just the creaking of the cabin, Ryana. No such thing as ghosts. It seemed pretty real, Sian. Selena. Well, if you see it again, just let me know. Yeah, just let me know. That fence outside was absolutely terrifying. We cannot let our guard down here. Yeah. Can. We, can we not sell it up anymore? How do we know it's a fence and not like some wooden creature? I mean, we that we found tweezers or pliers, whatever it is, and who's to say that they're not putting together something monstrous here? I'm not put. Should I refer to myself as the monster because I played it as a butcher? I don't know. We'll just refer to them as the... I'm trying to think of a figure that kills people. We'll call him the Unsaint. <laughs> Don't know why, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Just an Unsaint. He's unsaintful. I'm scared of getting separated now. Or a butcher. You know, we'll just call him butcher. Of course, I like. Or a team. Teams stick together through thick and thin. You're definitely a cabbage. Just saying, you definitely turn into a cabbage. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. You're right, Selena. Uh -huh. Definitely ca um, cabbages. Not cabbages. Well, she's a cabbage, but definitely uh, chomp heads. I just don't want to lose any of you, like Razzale. That won't happen when we're together, Oleg. Bullock, you're a night owl. Can you stay guard while we sleep? Of course. Thanks, Bullock. Bullock and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? Yeah. Thank you, Bullock. Bullock, we can't sleep if you see or hear anything. You got it. Oleg and Selina head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. You lay down on the couch and quickly fall asleep. You close your eyes, but cannot stop thinking about the butcher of Zakopane. His third pr victim probably had it the worst, stabbed in the stomach like the other two, but this one was different. The body was missing both ears, so investigators concluded it was copycat uh, to a series of grisly murders from years ago. What kind of person would take someone's ears? The victim, family, and neighbors searched this murder scene, top to bottom in the alleyway outside. All they could find was a broken window that the, butcher, the butcher used to gain entry. It was a mystery that nobody in Zakopane could solve. So Selina, Oleg, Bolek, and you teamed up to find a killer. Selina was naturally the leader, plotting out the vantage points on dusty maps her grandfather had. Why would elementary children be doing this? Just saying. Bolek brought snacks and what he called emergency rations, which was usually crusty red from his pocket. 
Oleg was able to get investigation tips from his grandmother, a former detective, but only after telling her he was defying Razael. Investigations lasted more than a year, often getting to crime scenes quicker than town investigators. You have a strange dream. You found the body of Roy, so the Roy of the blood is still leaving the body. The greasy-haired man makes eye contact, to contact with you, wiping the knife on his vest. You look for a way to escape, but you're trapped in the alleyway. He slowly walks towards you, forcing a laugh that comes out in unnatural, staggered segments. As he gets closer, you notice his pupils are absolutely enormous. As he, his brings, as he brings up the knife, his face peels apart by the lips, screeching in pained agony. Jeez. It seems more painful than him. You wake up in a cold sweat. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting to see an actual human face like that. Oh. That's not what I needed. Wake up, everyone. Well, look, it's like 3 a.m. I heard something outside. Was it one of those crows? They never shut up. It's him. Huh? Selena? It's him. What's the plan? Selena, make the groups. Secret hand signal. Only whispering is allowed now. Well, like, well, like, eyes on the doors and windows. If he makes it inside, run out the front door or downstairs. Downstairs? What if there's less room down there? Then we need to manipulate the lights down there. Find the light bulb pulley, and when he gets close, turn off the lights. He's got that knife, so run for the front door when there's an open one. Well, what if there is no working light down there? Our eyes can see better in the dark than him. We can run circles around him while he's blind down there. He doesn't stand a chance. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, all. Well, look, can you outrun him? Of course. Diana, do you see anything out the window? The rain hasn't started yet, but you can see the storm clouds in the distance. Or Fady has seen a similar fate like before. Maybe it'll get too muddy for him. Unless he's coming through one of the windows. The window glass is thick. If he tried to break it, everyone would hear it. Whoever built this cab cabin definitely was here for the long haul. See anything, Ryana? Nothing. Well, keep watching. I found this in the bedroom. Here. What the hell is this? Did Razeo make this? It had to have been him. When we found the body, body stuffed into the barrel, that creep saw us and ran. Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Rihanna. That was the last time we saw him. What's that? Name? Is no one going to think about how the, we really have that drawing? Get to the staircase now. As you run into the staircase, you see him by standing by the front door. He wipes his eyes with his sleeve, completely drenched from head to foot. He attempts a smile when he comes out, but looks completely out of character. You slow down your breathing, making it to the staircase safely. Is it? That looked disturbing. I'm gonna have to rewatch that in the footage. The uh... Cause I, I was looking at his chest. So he takes out the basement key, locking the door behind you. There, that should slow him down. How did you get a basement key? I feel like there's a lot I'm missing. So, Rihanna, can you lead? Of course, Selena. Wow, he's determined. We'll be right behind you. I was gonna say, is Rihanna a boy? But no, they mean the man who's chasing us down. Let's play Ghost in the Graveyard tonight. It's too dark out. But what if one of the adults catches us? Or faster than them? Rihanna, you game to be the ghost first? Well, why me? Because your eyes can see in the dark the best. The perfect ghost. Selena, huh? Sure, I'll go hide first. Hey, Oleg? Yeah. You were slower than Bullock with a stomach full of herring last time. Pick up the pace this time. Eek! Trust me, won't happen again. Nobody trusts you, Oleg. Everybody laughed. You hide behind some equipment at the sawmill. It takes the group two hours to find you. By the time Selena yells, Ghost in the Graveyard, you've already tagged Bullock and Oleg. Ah! Uh, eek! You're too fast, Rihanna. Nobody sneaks up on me. Nobody. So 
we are uh Brandon, what's going on? Uh nothing, just remembering something. Oh like an oh like on my head. There's no time for this. We need to go. You snap out of it and begin your descent. So clearly we're having some trauma. He must be searching for the key. What an idiot. He must be furious to be causing that much damage. Oh like you find the light switch down there? Yeah yes. Get in position, we'll be right down. That locked door is keeping him busy. That door is pretty old, though. Did you see the holes in it? He's coming down! Run! Your eyes strain to see further down the staircase. You can't hear him. Ayana? We have someone special to introduce you to. Azeo! Come on out. Don't be shy, Razael. Rihanna won't bite. Huh? Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Rihanna. Hi. It's okay. Your cousin is great, but yeah. Just wait, everyone. Give him a little time. He has the world's best puns. He memorized every single one Grandma told him. Ah. Grandma bought me this book. Azeo, this is 500 pages long. Yeah. Everyone laughs with their eyes, I hope. Enjoying a nice meal together with Bullock's family. As they all tell countless pun jokes, Bullock howls with laughter and the adults shake their head in agony. His joy is infectious, making Zakopane a better city for everyone, except for one. Rihanna, you're slowing down again. Selena, Razael, what about him? I, I keep remembering him. I see. I, he, crew, let's keep going. You continue downward. What the hell is this? Okay, well, we're definitely, uh... We're not in Kansas anymore. What? The light isn't working. No time to find a weapon in here. Let's keep going down. The room where it happened. What's that supposed to mean? Is this where we die? Or is this where we killed? What the hell? This doesn't make that way this one be where we killed. Uh... What's her name? remember. I can't be bothered to remember. I can see a light further down the staircase. Your shoes stick to the floor at the bottom. You can barely make out the light to the door on the right, east. There's three other doors, north, south, and west. So you need to try the door to the north first. Locked. This room is tiny. How are we going to get around him? Don't be scared. Let's try the doors and see if we can lock it from the other side. Well, from the inside. Which way, Ryan? Use the bobby pins. This one has the loosest lock. Let me try to use these one. We swing the door open. What? We'll worry about the his later. He's coming down. You leave the sour room, running into the room in the east. Leave us alone. You just left the knife up, knives upstairs. It's four against one. Leave with your life. Ah. Say hi to Raziel for me. Did I do something wrong? Oh. Ha. Yeah. Why? You shut the drawer. Wee! Cabbage! The cabbage! I need red. They're being held back by their human emotions. Don't need a few months, or at the very least, I'm in no rush. Let us leave. Now. You shut the drawer. I'd like to explore the cabin. See where 
those whispers are coming from. Can I leave the drawer? You nod. Thank you. Wanna come with Raspberry? I'm going nowhere with you. Huh. Poor, poor Raspberry. Welcome. We've done a few annual trumpet comedy competitions since last then. Uh, want to be the judge this year? Ignore them. I found some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need you to explain what the hell this is. Were you fattening him up? Or were you scaring the hell out of him while you hesitated? You take the basement drawing with you. I will never forgive you for this. You shut the drawer. Whee! Cabbage! Trumpets, sound off! Onion! Never fear, Onion is here. Run. Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Raspberry! Always merry, Raspberry. Oh, yeah. Potato? Potato? You have nothing to give me now. Leave me alone. This is the only way to escape, Potato. We need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving the cabin. Potato, please. Potato, we want to see you. No. Cabot tries whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. They can release us. Just play along and maybe they'll pity us. Yeah. I'm not working with them. But right now, I pity them. Just an old, disgusting, foul-smelling. That's enough. Potato's word cause of aggression to stir inside of you. Keeping those intruders around might be entertaining for now. You slide the door closed, giving them time to stew on their thoughts. Please, is there another one? I'm going to check if there's another, another, um, Another ending. I should have saved, but I'm going to check for us if there is another ending. I know I'm pretty, you know, uh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I knew it wasn't over. Oh. Returning the demons. Ah! Wake up. I said, wake up. The others are causing you to become weak. This is adorable. We need to get you back to normal. We need to get you back to you. Back to normal. Less talking, less hesitation. Especially, especially if someone's trying to become stronger than you. That used to make you upset, right? I'm keeping an eye on you. You ask for how long? At this rate, never. Cough profusely, covering your tail in a fine mist. You're beyond disgusting. So then, are you ready to fight back against the nightmares? Punish the spirits that have made your life a living hell. Yes, perfect. Let us give them no quarter. Close your eyes again. Let's begin to traverse the abyss. You relax your muscles, getting ready to hold what's next. Welcome to Nightmare Mode. If you survive, you will gain some additional insight into the world of cooking companions, as well as unlocking New Game Plus and the Chomp Hats Only event. This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, if you select new game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompette's Cabin Courses, a Chompette only event, free of humans. For the true cooking companions, experience this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. Well, alright, I've done as it said, and I've uh, put the lights in my room down and uh, made it so that they may flicker every once in a while, truly get that scariness. But uh, 
We'll see. If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry, you'll get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. You should really make a manual save right now, don't hesitate. Thank you for getting this far, your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing, Dear Dream Studios. Thank you, Dear Dream Studio. <laughs> Thank you, dear Dream. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry if the devs are watching. Thank you, dear Dream Studios, for making this game, because... Oh, I almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bathroom again. <laughs> this is my room. Do you see how dark it is? It's cold. But I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? Run, 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 run. <laughs> you wake in a cold sweat. This was a bad idea. Your surroundings feel completely different. Yeah, sneak. Rhea's presence, presence is enraged. She's beckoning you to follow her. You get up and leave the bedroom. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. You head to the kitchen for some breakfast. This will take ages to clean. Good job, yeah, you take a few bites of meat. You lost some of your humanity. You stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? You head back to the bedroom to take a nap. Which one of them is causing this? Maria? Anna? Tally? Gregor? Yeah, yeah, it was Karen. That's the name of that. Lady. You crawl into bed and fall asleep. You have a strange dream. I want to stay here with Potato. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen. Karen isn't here. Sounds like she's whittling something again. Did she escape the basement? Karen? No reply. You head over to investigate. Another trick by one of them. Who's still missing? Karen? Someone is tapping on the window. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Are you done, Natalie? They're getting more bold in their actions. You head to the bed to sleep on it. Turn to the first floor of the cabin. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen. Come with me to the living room. Don't argue. Crawl out of bed to face them. We've been waiting all the day. Be satiated by this opportunity. Would you like to start the ritual? What ritual? A ritual to manifest alternative possibilities. Mistakes mended. Regrets unrooted. Let the others depart earlier than me. Let me survive this time. This means join hands with us and form this pact. This ritual is unlike anything you've ever heard of. Agreeing to the pact could result in one's worth of death. Anger channeled and linked. Extremely dangerous. There might be no going back from this decision. Think carefully before making a decision. This might be a good time to save the game. Have you made a decision? You nod. Oh. Save Maria. Wonderful. Take my hand. 
Take care and stand. You hold on to both of their hands, ice cold to the touch. You've chosen Christ. I'm proud of you. See you soon. Your breathing begins to slow, the frost clacks on the window, when your eyes rolls backwards, causing you to drool a little bit on the floor. Something has gone horribly wrong. I didn't know we were going to be here with my horrible nightmares. And Natalie picks the shortest stick for a sleep in the cabin, then Gregor goes and Karen. Natalie, Gregor, Karen. Once the three are gone, it's just you alone with Maria. Thank you for getting me through all this. Maria smiles, even the meat breaks my with people, but not her. The storm clouds dissipate, the sun comes out again. I'm so happy the storm clouds have gone away. I couldn't have done this without you. Maria's eyes wide, looking into yours. I, I want to stay here and take care of you. All my life I've been looking for my true calling, and it was you all. No need to ask me the question again. I am here, 75% of my own free will, 65% by compulsion. She answered correctly. How did she know? I bet your arthritis is extremely bothersome. Do you want me to show you a special teach technique my grandmother taught me to help deal with the pain? You nod. Great. Sit down in the rocking chair and let me go to work. You sit down in your rocking chair, watching intently as Maria comes back with a towel and a bucket of water. I hope this is to start a beautiful relationship. Close your eyes and relax. You close your eyes smiling as Maria gets close to you. Maria throws you to the ground, sinking the knife into your chest. It's finally over. No more victims. No more grieving parents. Your reign of terror is over. We're slowly bleeding out, but it's taking longer than expected. I'm going to tell everyone in Sakapane about what happened here. Once all the remains are recovered, I'm burning this hut to the ground. I try to get out a few words, but one lung has completely collapsed. Don't talk. Your hearing begins to fade in and out as you're losing consciousness. Unlike, I'm taking no chances. Going to watch you die in front of me. And then, Ash. Your body finally gives out, a stain removed off the earth. Storm cloud lifts off every town. I didn't know I was that hated. The lessons of the cabin will break most people, but Maria uses it to become a stronger person. After burying an alley, Gregor and Karen, she worked with the Polish government to eventually return home to Ukraine. In April of 1945, Maria is selected to attend a conference in San Francisco. She is picked over Dmitry Maniliski to represent Ukraine at the first meeting of the United Nations. Elected to the first committee, she helped create the preamble on Chapter 1 with the UN. Years later, she would go on to form a committee to investigate atypical beings. Using the cabin as blueprint, countries around the world begin to document the numerous abnormalities impacting every country, everything from death rates to food prices. The committee's investigations revealed that many historical events were swayed, either directly or indirectly, by these atypical beings. We provided expert testimony for many of the trials that took place. The books and notes found in the cabin gave helpful insight for prosecutory efforts around the world. When she reached 85 years old, Maria became bedridden due to cancer. <laughs> Surrounded by loved ones, she tells everyone in the room about the cabin. I miss them. Natalie, Gregor, Karen. But I can leave this earth happy knowing I share their memories with all of you. I'm sure Gregor would be laughing right now. On March 15th, Maria finally passed away due to complications. Surrounded by loved ones, her legacy is one of service and warmth. Cities became safe again. Children can explore freely. The world is now a better place from her actions.
feels like 3 a.m. Nothing is moving around the bedroom anymore. Just your imagination again. You head to the basement door. Is Karen still alive? Cold wind blows through the crack in the door. You wake in a cold sweat. You wake up on the cold bathroom floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Hmm. Where do you want to check first? Look into the mirror. I'm just gonna spam click this until something happens. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling like doing this voice. <laughs> you don't have a shred of empathy, so you wouldn't understand. Habit told me I had to rescue Fu from this. I wanted to let you starve to death in here, but she insisted. Here you go. This is the last favor you get from me. Goodbye, Rich. Time to end this. You open the door and get ready for this next. Just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Both your knees. The spirits aren't active right now. I'm gonna save the game. You continue downward. <laughs> the walls down here, they're dirt and soot. It's nothing. You keep moving downward. The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. False alarm. Are the spirits below going to spring a trap on you? You continue downwards. You hear something in the distance. Esto tal parido aquí. Esta con frío. You shake your head. Oh, Ramo Camozer, la embaxio. Okay. Etonio. Etros di kyo mont kiro monstra e oke am deles na piara di sasar sorry sobra ama galoe di passerino oje e no fena you hold your breath and continue down
something is approaching. That actually got me. Excuse me. Hold on. When you regain conscious, you're further down the staircase. You awake with a note next to your head. It's difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Don't get up before Saturday. You take the Saturday note with you. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Navigate the basement blindly until you reach the room that's for. You, make out, you barely make out the outlines of the door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? North. Open it, yes. <laughs> it multiple times. Karen escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of blood behind her. You follow her to the room in the east. Turn on the lights. Reap what you have so. Maria. Anatoly. Gregor. Karen. I'll never forget you. I have a... I am sure this is not the end. Cooking time is so much fun And nothing bad could happen Everything is totally great But please do refrain from going in the basement Cooking companions Your life I'm just might end choose. Cooking Companions, Group. don't trust that onion. Don't trust that onion. Cooking time is so much fun, and nothing bad could happen. Everything is totally great, but please do refrain from going in the basement. Cooking companions, your life just might end. Cooking companions. I'm sure this isn't the end. Although it might have to be the end of the episode, because uh, this is going on pretty long. Topics again. If someone can please explain this to me, I'd love to know. Okay. Hello! Hello. Welcome to Chompette's Cabin Courses. Why didn't we be? In the school's too much, we wanted to bring it back. Honest, I'll be playing the role of teacher today. You can call me Mr. Like. Let's just roll with it, alright? Uh -huh. It's fun! Can't wait to learn some new things today. Me too. Cabbage. Aren't you excited, Potato? I dropped out of grade school so I could work at the butcher. That's extremely depressing. Explains everything so far. Is he quiet because he doesn't want the sound held back? You three are terrible at whispering. A cabbage! They never learn their inside voices, Potato. Ah. 
There's no dumb questions or wrong answers, cabin, but cabin, the challenges cabin, cabin courses are designed to kind of let you pass it. Your brain is porridge right now. These courses will be perfect for that. Cabin. That's correct, Onion. And the best part? Cabin. No show humans interrupt anything. You ask about dead humans. Ah. <laughs> so strong, you ask You ask about. That's enough. Cabbage! No onion! Saved for practicing dead medium stinky. And a cornbread classic for you. What's the ghost's favorite food? <laughs> Blueberry. You need to get a red a joke book. These puns are pathetic. <laughs> Let the learning begin. Cabbage! One of us was baked into a crust! <laughs> Or have a visit away without hesitation. You and Lysi was completely disposable to you. That's enough. I seem to have lost my place in the teaching curriculum. Oh, cabbage! Let's talk about the cauldron instead. The first cauldron discovered dates back to the Bronze Age, which took place 3100 BC to 300 BC. You can see a cauldron in the famous artwork, The Garden of Earthly Delights, where a birdman is wearing one like a crown as he eats and poops people down into a hellhole below. Ah! Yikes. Aww. We don't want to fall into a hell at all. Most of us were placed in this cauldron, stewing for a day straight. The smell was so foul, clung to all linens in the cabin, absolutely revolting. Cabbage. Raspberry? Need to speak with you for a minute in private. The two awkwardly leave for the bedroom, slamming the door behind them. You can hear Cabbage chewing out raspberry. Uh, what is another name for Brussels sprout? <laughs> cabbage Patch Kids. Bread, that wasn't even a pun. Or a joke. Boy, boy, boy. It's more like a stone. Cabbage and Raspberry join the group again. Cabbage. Raspberry, is there something you'd like to say? Raspberry. There is cabbage. You've committed crimes against humanity. You're scourging this earth sent to punish us. Cabbage may forgive you, but I never will. Wow, look at the time. <laughs> this concludes the cabbage. cabin courses. Did you learn anything this time? Or did you just loaf around? Uh huh. Are you remembering it yet? Just join me in the boiling water sometime. Really loosens the meat off those old bones. Hide in that nasty oven. There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. Have you seen that knife? Yikes. Big enough to cleave cabbage in two. Still leftovers in here. Dig in. The rules are different for people that die in the cabin. Everyone that does will know the kitchen well. The lucky ones are dead when cooked. The others... The others have told us what you did to them. How many generations died brutally at your hands before you gave up? Was it your arthritis that stopped you, or did you eventually feel remorse? That's enough. Thanks for playing along today. It was fun to revisit some old topics. Let's sleep on some of this, shall we? We've made your bed. Sleep <laughs> yeah. And, uh, a third sequel, uh, Well, I think I'm going to, uh, stop this, uh, video here after the credits are done, just to see if there's something else. Um, and if there is something else, I guess I'll continue the video. I think Cooking Companion is a really cool game. I heard that they're making a sequel. Uh, I'll make sure to keep an eye out for that when it comes out. Um... Yeah, this has been a pretty interesting game, and uh, if someone would like to please point me to a video where I it is explained what in the world is going on, <coughs> God, uh, that would be nice because I'm not sure I can understand all this because uh, yeah. 
it's a uh, it's a lot to take in. So any advice on uh, what is going on here would be nice. Once again, welcome to New Game Plus. This playthrough have different dialogue. I want to take a break. I'm taking a break, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll continue this if you guys like it enough. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if the creators and cooking companions watched this, uh, I just want you to know that you created a lovely game. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll be looking forward to your sequel. Even if I don't understand all this game, I'm going to try and watch a video and see what the heck is going on. But uh, yeah. I've been recording for like an hour now. Let me check. Oh yeah, yeah, one hour and going on one hour and two minutes right now. Um, bye everybody. Have a good day. See y'all.